All right, folks, let's start with equipment. Uh, I have Focusrite Sapphire Pro 14 as audio interface. Uh, it can be any FiWire, USB, it doesn't matter. It has four inputs and four outputs. As minimum for reamping, you need two inputs at least. One for main signal from Camper and the other one for direct guitar signal, also routed from Camper. For the direct signal, you need the preamp, because direct signal from guitar uh, is quite weak and you would like some preamp to power it up. I would recommend four outputs on audio interface, because you need at least one output to send signal from your computer through audio interface into Camper when you are reamping. So you would like to have also a monitoring when you want to play music and listen to the new signal which you get from Camper during reamping at the same time. So you need at least three, but there are no audio interfaces with three outputs. So I would recommend audio interface with four outputs, two for monitoring and one to send signal from computer to Camper. I have Camper Profiler Rec. It has same inputs and outputs as all other modifications of Kemper. Let's take a look on the back side of Kemper. Uh, we want to record the main signal from Kemper, so we'll take the output from the master output of Kemper, from the main output, and connect it to audio interface inputs, line inputs preferably. Uh, you can see the cables, blue and red. I'm using two cables because I have enough inputs on audio card to record stereo from Camper, but it's not necessary usually for guitar. To record direct guitar signal, I connect corresponding output of Camper to the preamp input of my audio interface. So that the direct signal from Camper goes here, in this input with the preamp. When you try recording first time, you probably should play with a uh, gain on the preamp just to find the best amount of gain to power up your direct guitar signal. Though be careful with gain, uh, guitar signal should not be clipping. These are two cables uh, from main output of Kemper connected to the input 3 and 4 line inputs uh, on the audio interface. As I already mentioned, you can use just one cable to record a mono signal from Kemper. This cable on output 1 of audio interface is connected to return input of Camper. On the front side of Camper we have only guitar cable connected to input. Before starting the recording you should configure the type of signal you get from Camper direct guitar output. You should go to output menu and here you'll see different outputs which Kemper has and the uh, type of signals you get from these outputs. You can actually configure it, what you get from SPD, from monitor output, you have different options. But right now we are interested in the direct output. So by default it will probably have Git analog. Uh, you need to check out the description of each. Uh, type of signal. So guitar analog is just the same signal which you get from the guitar with no processing at all. You also have an option to select guitar and processing um, and uh, guitar studio and so on, the stack, stack mode and so on and so forth. So you can pick the guitar signal on each stage of the processing of this uh, of Kemper chain, fixed chain. Um, from manual I got that the best setting probably for recording is Git Studio. As manual states that if you select this setting the guitar signal which you get from the direct output will be processed as if you pass it through the I box, which as I know people usually do when you then record in a professional studio. <clears throat> they send the guitar signal to the I box and then it goes to the console and is being recorded. So at home if you don't have a DI box and you don't use it uh, you should probably select Guitar Studio or you can select a Guitar Analog 
and just get the same signal just as, as if you were recording your guitar directly into your audio interface. But I use setting Guitar Studio. Okay, so I have a simple project with the drums, bass and organ and I want to record a guitar with a dry track and a wet track from Camper. So I'm going to create two tracks. Uh, one of them is a direct guitar, so I'll take it input of my audio interface which is connected to the direct output of Camper. And for now I'll select no output. We'll pick output a bit later when we start reamping. In the second track I want to record a main signal from Camper, so the, the other input of my audio interface which is connected to main output of Camper. Uh, for this I'll pick a mono signal. And here I select my main output of audio interface for monitoring to hear what I have recorded. And to make the process of recording easy, I'll make a group of these two tracks. In, an, in other door it may be a, a bit different process but uh, most of doors have this. So I create a group and I want to edit both tracks simultaneously and record them simultaneously. So for instance, when I press a record button and enable one track for recording, the second will be recorded automatically. And when I disable, they both also disable automatically. So let's try recording. We want to be able to play the same piece of music and play this through Kemper as if we were playing the guitar but we're playing the recorded track. Okay, now what we need to do in Kemper, we need to go to Input Menu and choose the Input Source, Return Input Reamp. Now Kemper is ready. Now we need to select the correct output for our dry track. I'm going to select output number 3 for my dry track and this output is sending signal to Camper return input. Now you might be a bit confused because uh, I've shown you that the cable is connected to the physical output number 1 on my audio interface but in DAW I select output number 3. This is related to a problem I wanted to solve uh, with my particular interface. Let me explain that because I don't want you to be confused with, with that setting. In Logic Pro, in my door, I select output 3 and 4 as a reamp output, but this signal actually goes to output number 1 of my audio interface. You can see it here in the Sapphire Mix Control. I've routed the output from door 3 and 4 from my Logic to monitor output 1 and 2. On my audio interface. This is this might look a bit confusing but the reason for that is that I use headphones a lot and physically on the audio interface headphones are attached to output 3 and 4. That's why I use 3 and 4 for monitoring and uh, output 1 and 2 as a reamp chain to send signal to Camber. So don't be confused. Uh, if you don't need this complicated routing just use the common routing. That's just specific to this audio interface. Now let's play through Camper and try to match the sound of the track to the sound what we have right now when we pass the signal through Camper because 
uh, we need to adjust reamp sense because gain probably will be different. This setting reamp sense is necessary because output of your audio interface can give the signal with a different volume than your guitar. For instance, if you have some overdrive channel and you play through it, you have a with with a guitar you have a particular amount of gain, but when you get the signal from audio interface, the volume of the signal can be different and you'll be getting the different amount of gain, like you've connected a different guitar with a different volume. So with with this setting you can control the sensitivity of the distortion of the overdrive channel and if your signal from the audio card is equal to your guitar you don't need to change it you can leave it as 0 dB if you really have the same amount of signal but if signal from audio card has a bit less volume than your guitar then you can increase this sense or if output from audio interface is louder than your guitar you can decrease this sense and achieve the same sound with the same profile from your guitar and from your audio interface so we'll go to input menu and we have uh, zero reamp sense let's play uh, let's check out the original track original sound <laughs> compare it to what we have right now you can hear instantly that it's much less gain and now you can hear that the sound is similar so Let's try another profile. sound which I like <clears throat> I can make a second recording let's for instance create a new track select the let's for instance select the stereo input uh, since I have a reverb effect stereo effect for recording of the video purposes I have to send this to the bus one which I have prepared to record all this sound so you don't have to do that it's only for recording of the video so now I can play and record it And so on and so forth. I'm not going, to, not going to do this for the whole track. So now you can, you have two sounds. You can compare them. And so on. <clears throat> so now we can make as many takes as you want with different profiles. You can adjust effects on camper in the real time and find the best effects and best combination. So thanks for watching. Have fun.